What's up everybody? Welcome back to the Soul Break. Thanks for stopping by my channel. So today I have another pair of Jordan 5s to review and these are the Air Jordan 5 Stealth 2.0. Uh, these released over the weekend and once again I was able to cop this pair for below retail off of Nike.com in my home country. Um, obviously I missed out on the original release over the weekend it's just that I knew a lot of people were going to cancel their orders and and that's what happened and I luckily I was able to score a pair in my size and here I finally have them in hand um, I know the original pair released like in, back in 2006 but I have no nostalgia for that pair because I wasn't into sneaker collecting back then but I know that this release uh, has a lot of meaning for a lot of people and it, I think it's really cool that Jordan Brand uh, was able to pull this retro out of their archives but I'm also aware of the fact that you know Jordan Brand switched out some uh, small parts of the shoe for different like colors and I know that's a little disappointment for some people out there but I'm gonna be talking about the aesthetics and the quality of this model uh, overall so let's just dive right into the shoe now the most noticeable part of the shoe is that basically like they all entirely like crisp white uh, leather used on the upper of the shoe so as you can see the mid part of the uh, the of the shoe is all that like white tumbled leather and I was a little uh, <clears throat> uh, I thought it was a little weird when I first saw the leaked photos of this model because I've never seen like um, tumbled leather used on a Jordan 5 in, uh, in my like short history of sneaker collecting. But uh, I soon learned that, you know, the original uh, Stealth 1.0 actually had tumbled leather on it. So kudos to Jordan Brand for, you know, bringing back that same exact, you know, uh, leather kind of like characteristics on this particular pair. And then once again, we on the mid side, we see that uh, clear perforated uh, mid panel here on the uh, the Jordan 5 that we, you know, this is a, the a typical aspect of a Jordan 5 model. And then that tumbled leather extends all the way to the toe box of the shoe, all done in that crisp white once again. And then that same leather is used here on the toe cap area as well. Um, on the uh, middle of the shoe, <clears throat> you got that white cotton laces factory laced onto the shoe. And then underneath that, you see that once again, that clear kind of rubber material or plasticky material uh, for the tongue of the shoe. And then underneath that, you can see some white mesh material here as well. And then the, uh, the lace locks are these white, crisp white uh, plastic mater materials uh, used to hold down the laces here. And then <clears throat> moving towards the top, you've got that clear plastic lace lock uh, with the blue, like the kind of like a sports blue colored uh, lace lock encased in there. I usually try to like take out the uh, the lace locks for my Jordan fives. I don't know. It's for some for me. It, it uh, I think the shoe looks a lot cooler without these for some reason, uh, and that's usually how I wear my Jordan fives. But I think it's a, a a personal choice and a personal preference for everybody. And on that blue lace lock, you've got that Jordan Jumpman logo printed on uh, in white. And then the tongue of the shoe is that uh, gray 3M reflective material um, here on the silver tongue. And then you've got that Jordan Jumpman in this bright blue uh, threads embroidered onto that 3M reflective material. So I think it's a, that really uh, sets off the shoe and makes the shoe really pop. And then here on the back of the shoe, you've got more of that tumbled white leather here. Um, and then on the back of the shoe, you've got that Jordan Jumpman embroidery done in black. I'm not really sure if the original model had the the Jumpman in black because in, in the photos, I think it was like a more of a dark navy or a kind of blue color. But I guess Jordan Brand decided to uh, make this Jordan Jumpman logo uh, black for this particular model. And then this... Uh, this pair of sneakers also has that cotton sock liner here all done in that kind of bright blue color and on the back of the tongue you've got that same kind of like sock liner material all done in black with the Air Jordan text 
uh, in blue, uh, I'll be obviously upside down. And then the, I'm not really sure if you can see the insole here, but you can see that the insole, it's actually, I think it's actually black with the uh, Jordan Jumpman logo uh, printed in white. I'm not really sure if the camera can pick that up, but there's nothing too special about the, uh, the insole here. And then on the midsole, you've got that really nice, cool gray colored midsole uh, that we typically see on Jordan 5 models. And then you got that air bubble unit here with the, the visible like columns inside. And then this is probably the, the best part of any Jordan 5 model. It's the shark tooth with the blue speckles on it. And this is probably the most controversial part of his shoe because I know that the original model had this shark tooth painted in blue. And I think that kind of like killed it for a lot of people. Honestly, I think the black works quite well for me, but if if you're one of those people who have like a lot of nostalgia for this particular pair um, or model, I, I can understand like where the disappointment comes from because if you're gonna name something like as the same as the original release, why not just retro it the same way? But I guess that's just a, a choice that Jordan Brand made. But honestly, I'm not complaining because I think it's a cool colorway overall. And then on the front part of the midsole, you got that uh, white material here all on the front of the shoe. And then the outsole is obviously that clear blue tinted ice sole here on the front part of the outsole with all the, uh, the herringbone traction pad here. And then on the very tip of the outsole, you got that cool like bright blue uh, outsole material here. And then underneath the, the clear outsole, you've got that Jordan Jumpman logo printed in blue. <clears throat> and then the mid part of the outsole is obviously that black uh, material with the, uh, the Jordan text engraved into that black outsole. And then on the back, you see more of that clear icy outsole with the uh, herringbone traction pad here as well. So... In general, it's a really, really fresh colorway. Uh, it's so uh, clean and fresh, and it's so nice to look at. Uh, one complaint that I have is that I don't know for some reason, I'm a little, I'm a little on the fence about the uh, the leather quality. Uh, I'm not saying that it should be like super premium, or whatever, because this is a GR release anyways. It's just that I was. This is like deceivingly. A bit more stiff than what you would expect like it does have some give but I don't know it's it, it's it feels like it feels a little bit too artificial you know that like tumble leather is actually like just like you know those like tumble patterns like uh, like kind of enforced onto you know regular leather but it feels like you know I don't know it feels a little uh, a bit more stiff than you would expect, but that's just probably like my opinion. I don't know, a lot of people might hate that, but you know, I, it is what it is. Um, I think they could have picked out some better quality, quality leather, but that's just my humble opinion about it. Um, uh, other than that, I'm, I'm not, I don't have that many complaints. I mean, obviously these are a great like summer colorway. I think these would really go well with like shorts, or, like black shorts or anything uh, for the summer, except for the fact that, you know, Jordan 5 is a little too hot to wear in the summer. But, you know, if you're a Jordan person, you could probably wear it anything, like any Jordan, like for all four seasons. So uh, but personally, I don't think I'm going to be keeping this pair. I, I probably mentioned this a couple times in my previous videos, but I'm still waiting for the, uh, the Raging Bull 5s uh, to release. I think they're actually releasing next week, so I'm really excited. And, you know, I actually got rid of a lot of shoes in my collection recently. I think I got rid of, like, say, like three or four pairs. I'm just trying to make some more room for sneakers uh, so that I could, like, keep my collection... Uh, you know, nicely selected. So I'm trying to be picky about uh, certain shoes that I pick up. Obviously, this is a really cool colorway. It's just that I don't picture myself wearing these that often. So I just want to keep that kind of empty spot 
uh, ready for uh, the Raging Bull Fives, which I, it is, which is a must cop for me. And I'm pretty sure a lot of you guys also have that kind of similar problem because, you know, there's always a dilemma when you you think you know a, a, a particular sneaker is so cool and it looks so great, but you just find yourself like. You got to make a hard decision where are you really going to cop this pair and then kind of like pass on the next one or are you going to pass on this one and then kind of, you know, make room for the uh, the next must cop sneaker, you know, but obviously if you can afford all the space and the cash, I mean, by all means cop every single drop, but I, that's just not me. I mean, I do have the cash to buy it. It's just that I don't want to keep that many sneakers in my room like all at once. So, I mean, if you have that, if you have experienced that kind of like similar problem, please leave something down below in the comments sections. I really want to hear from you guys. Uh, and I just enjoy talking to you guys about sneakers in general. So anyways, that's basically it for today. Um, I hope you found this video informative and I hope you enjoyed watching this video. And if you enjoyed watching this video, please hit that subscribe button. It really, really helps my channel grow and you know I'm not gonna lie it's it's a really blessing uh, for me to you know almost reach that 500 subscriber marks mark so let's try to you know keep pushing that in momentum towards that mark uh, uh, this year anyways uh, I'll be pushing more content really soon and I uh, hope you guys you know are able to cop more sneakers for retail so anyways, that's it for today. Uh, thanks for watching.